Hey everyone, in this video I'm showing you a high speed file sharing method with a Thunderbolt 3 cable using one hard drive between different Macs working with the same file simultaneously in full speed. Perfect if you have two Macs and you want to speed up your editing workflow or you work with other creators together. I explain how to connect them and I'm also showing you my workflow, how I'm using it. First things first, ensure you have a Thunderbolt 3 cable with 10 gigabytes or 40 gigabytes Using a smaller one or a longer one is just fine. It's not reducing the hard drive speed. Just make sure that you invest in a high quality cable. First, go on both devices to the Apple menu, choose System Preference, go to the Sharing folder, click on File Sharing and make the tick. Then make sure it is selected Read and Write and make sure that the option is ticked as well. Tick MacBook, type in your computer password this will give you admin rights to the share folder. Second, connect your Thunderbolt 3 cable to your Macs. And in my case, it's the MacBook and the Mac mini. Third, go then back to the system preference, choose the network icon, click on Thunderbolt bridge and wait until the red dot turns yellow. Copy then the IP address you can see here or write it down. Go then to the other Apple device you want to connect, go to the finder or click left on the desktop, then go to the menu bar to go and click on connect server. You now type in smb double point slash slash if it's not already there and then paste or type in the IP address from the other Mac. If you're using your own system, so what you can do is copy on one device and then paste it on the other device. Thanks to the Apple ecosystem, it's possible. Then press connect. And now you can choose the hard drives you wanna see on the desktop. You have now access to the hard drives as well the IP address where you have access to the whole MacBook. Only if you haven't limited via the share folder and the admin rights as I showed you before. Then do the same for the other Mac. There is no speed limit and you can work with the same files on multiple Macs like a NAS system. I use an SSD that works with 350 to 400 Mbits and I don't see any speed limitation there. This allows you to work with other creators simultaneously like editing, color grading or just sharing your files with each other without unplugging your hard drives and waiting until the files are copied. Three hours later. And then being unable to work. This is such a huge game changer for me. I have learned this from the Color Creative course and also want to share it with you and how I'm using this workflow. Also, I highly recommend to check out Sam Coder's course if you want to learn more about advanced editing or storytelling. And the new DaVinci Resolve module is just a beast. There are like 120 videos and currently there is a waiting list. So please check the links down below. Using the link down below, I earn a commission as well as you check out the other links from the tools I'm using. This helps to support me to create more videos for this channel and our community here. Now, this is my workflow that I use to work effectively with this method. When I create a lot of content for my clients or selling it on the stock market, I want to speed up my whole workflow. I use a fully maxed out slow Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch Intel with a fast Apple Mac mini M1. <laughs> And using these two Macs speed up my workflow so I don't have to wait for rendering or exporting. On one Mac, I'm editing the time lapses and hyperlapses with LR time lapse and Lightroom, which can take quite long to convert or render. In the meantime, I'm organizing all the video footage. By the way, I have also a video, you can check it out how to organize your files and photo. But going back, as well, I'm creating the proxies if necessary or shifting through the clips, which are best in DaVinci Resolve. My workflow has speed up a lot with this method. And at the same time, I have access to six to seven hard drives to manage all my files on one Mac. Also, if you connect Ethernet via LAN to one of the Mac, you will have the full internet speed on both devices. Hopefully you could learn something from this Thunderbolt 3 file cross sharing workflow method and implement it with your team or for yourself if you are also a one man band like me to stay in the creative focus flow. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification to see my next video. You will learn about videography, photography or along how to speed up your workflow and stay productive with these little hacks on this channel. Please let me know if you have any questions or video requests in the comments down below. Until then, have fun creating and we will see us in the next video.